Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this picture in picture green screen card effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, I'm actually taking inspiration from Chance the Rapper's Hey Ma music video, one of my favorites by him. And in the video, director Elijah Alvarado and whoever else helped on it take this Polaroid picture approach of showing before and afters in the same place. So, what you're going to need is probably a solid colored square or postcard or like green screen card for you. You could use any color. In my example, I'm just using things that I had around the house. So a, a red folder and a green notebook. This probably isn't the best because there's writing on it. But let's jump into Premiere Pro. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do with these two clips that I captured and how I put them together. All right, so jumping into Premiere Pro, I've loaded all the clips that I captured and I'm going to put together here in my media bin. So I've got me talking and then I stood up and I held the green card or green screen object, whatever you choose, in front of the camera for a little bit. And I'm showing you two examples, the green notebook and the red folder. So do keep in mind that the objects that I used were not the best. You can see the red folder kind of worked better than the green notebook because it was more solid. But you probably want to use something less reflective than I used because any light that's reflecting will end up being harder to key out, like these highlights and these ridges. And any text, if you don't want it to be there stylistically, will be hard to key out if it's there in the folder. So both of these were a little more shiny than I would suggest that you use. But let's drag them on to the timeline. I'll show you how I combine them in Premiere Pro. So I've got my talking headshot. And then leaving my tripod in the same exact location, I've got my folder or card green screen object in front of that same location. So nothing changes except the object that we're looking at. We've got me and then we've got the folder, but the background is the same. So what we want to do is pretty much key out this square that is the folder and reveal what's underneath, which is me talking. So one way that we can do this is going into the effects panel on the right hand side. Let's look for one called color key. So I'll click and drag this onto my top layer, which is the folder or card object. And in the effects control panel, we can see the color key effect is now available for us to adjust. So the default key color is this ultra royal blue. We're going to change that by using the ink dropper tool to grab the red color that is our folder. So I'll click that. It turned out a little bit more pink than I would have liked. And you can see it doesn't really do anything except pull out a little bits and pieces from where I clicked. That's why we need to increase the color tolerance. This will tell Premiere Pro to allow the colors of red within that same family to be influenced as well. So not only this color, but everything kind of around this general area, the larger you increase the tolerance. So one thing to keep in mind is usually these objects are going to be reflecting on your finger if you're holding them. And you might get a little bit of an outline depending on the bright color that you're using. In this case, I'm getting that red outline, which I actually don't really mind. But it still looks kind of blotchy and spotty. So another thing we can adjust is the edge thinning. This will pull the edge forward or backward so that can help eliminate any unwanted areas. And also you can adjust the feathering to soften up some of those harsh spots. So find a good combination of tolerance, edge thinning, and feathering to get the cleanest result for you. So now I have my green screen object blacked out and whatever's underneath is showing, which is me and we're getting this cool me holding the card displaying the video underneath happening. And you see it's not perfect. Some parts of my hand are getting chopped off at certain tolerances. So you might want to go through and find the best balance, but you get the idea on how this method works. You can see I also did the same thing with the green notebook. You can drag it on top, use the color key. In this case, it was a lot harder to get a clean color because of the text and the writing, and it was a little bit too shiny and reflective, but the same idea works and it kind of gives a cool, interesting stylistic alternative with that text on top, I could see some cool ways that someone could use something similar to this in a project of their own. Lastly, one thing I did at the end of these clips was I actually brought the object in super close to the camera, which can be cool to create a little transition effect for yourself if you want. You can see I started out far away or in the middle and then I brought the green screen object into the center of the canvas and you can cut that and fade it at the right time 
to create an interesting transition like you saw in the beginning example as well. And I've seen other YouTubers do this. You guys have requested it a lot from Jesse from Prank vs. Frank. He did it on his channel recently and you guys asked a lot of questions about that. So that's the basics and one method that you can take to do this effect. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.